this is a video on how to create your ring of petals on your borage or star flower. And this one I've made here in green cream and hyacinth. And we're going to be joining our petals together using our green. So first thing you need to do is stuff and sew up your head body and your limbs as per normal and sew in all of the ends on both the inner and the outer petals. Then using your green yarn, we're actually going to double crochet into the bottoms of all of those petals to join them together rather than sewing them into position individually. So what we need to do is get the first petal and we're actually going to be crocheting into the bottom of the petal. So we're going to crochet, double crochet eight stitches onto the bottom of this petal. So you can see where your circle is, that's your starting point. And basically you need four either side. So you can be um, as disciplined as counting four rounds out. So one, two, three, four, and slip stitching in here. But so long as you get eight stitches onto the bottom of that petal, you don't need to worry too much once you've got it in that flat position. So go across the bottom, one, two, three, four, I'm going to go through the middle of mine there, five, six, seven, and eight. And then I'm going to grab my green one and actually do one slip stitch into one of the green. So go through the base of the green one in the same way and do a slip stitch in like that. Then on to my next blue one. So just to show you that again, take your next blue one once you've slip stitched into the green one and then double crochet across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then get your final green one, go through that starting point again with the green one, slip stitch that into place. And that's me having joined all five of each together. So now I'm back around to the start. And what you'll need to do is make sure that where you've slip stitched all your green ones on, they are facing forward. So that they're all going to be at the front of the ring of petals like that. And then just slip stitch that last one. You go into your first stitch that you made. So put that one through there and slip stitch that last one onto that first one. Then what you've got, leave yourself a nice long end. So break the green yarn, um, but leave yourself a nice long end like that. And what you've created is a ring of petals that you can then just slip onto the head of your flower and sew that into position.